<laughs> Hello viewers, today we have a very different sort of a video. Today we are going to share with you our experience of staying in a teepee at Rocky Mountain House. Rocky Mountain House is just over two hours drive from Edmonton. The teepee where we stayed is located in the Rocky Mountain House National Historic Site. You can camp overnight in a First Nations teepee or a Metis trapper's tent. This is an authentic camp camping experience that the family can enjoy. This is open from mid-May to mid-September. Link to the details is given in the description below. A teepee is a tent traditionally made of animal skins upon wooden poles. Modern teepees usually have a canvas covering. A teepee is distinguished from other conical tents by a smoke flaps at the top of the structure. Historically, the teepee has been used by some indigenous people of plains in the, and the Great Plains of Canadian prairies of North America. They are still in use in many of these communities, though now primarily for ceremonial purposes rather than daily living. While Native American cultures and civilizations and First Nation communities from other regions have used other types of dwellings such as pueblos, wigwams and log houses, teepees are often stereotypically and incorrectly associated, associated with all Native Americans in United States and Aboriginal Canadians. The teepee is durable, provides warmth and comfort in winter, is cool in the heat of summer, and is dry during heavy rains. Teepees can be dis disassembled and packed away quickly when people need to relocate and can be constructed quickly upon settling in a new area. So, this was our experience staying at the, the Skippy yesterday night. Uh, it was a fascinating experience. It was really cold yesterday night. <laughs> the top of the teepee is really open, so it's a lot of cold that comes in. And it was, um, when we woke up yesterday morning, it was really foggy, so uh, things got kind of wet. All our blankets got wet at the night. But um, overall, this was a fascinating experience. So, you have a door. Here, which you can roll up and stay there, and those uh, those things that are stuck by held on by this long pole are actually kind of window so you can if you pull those poles around, um, it opens so that's a more air. But uh, it, it actually was uh, really cold to keep that open at night. Um, other than that, uh, the whole atmosphere here is fantastic. Um, wish we could stay. Uh, could stay here for longer but uh, maybe another time so yeah so that was the experience with TV and we were here at the Rocky Mountain House Historic Park at site number seven close to our camping site was a fenced off area where you can find wild bisons grazing there are not many places where you can be this close to a bison safely That's it folks from the Rocky Mountain House National Historic Site. Hope you enjoyed this video. If so, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment. Stay safe and see you in the next one.